He runs the engineering section of the ship, and he's from uh, he's from the south, and he's uh, he's a little bit wary of um, well aliens for one. He's he's got like a wry sense of humor too, so um, he can be a little off-putting, um, but he kind of likes to have a good time, you know. And uh, the uh, the Vulcans have had somewhat of a strained relationship at this point in in our history with them and and he kind of really carries that on his back he's sort of that that's his chip on his shoulder and um that has a that makes the relationship with uh to paul the vulcan uh complicated and, and fun to play but um he he definitely is a little uncomfortable maybe sometimes squeamish around the uh our friends out there I've got definitely got a relationship with Captain Archer because I, he looks up to him. Trip Trip looks up to Captain Archer. He's known him for a long time. He was handpicked by him to be on this mission, and you know, I, I hate to use the word like mentor, but kind of you know, he's seen it all, done it all, with the exception of this brand new thing. And I think Trip definitely looks up to the captain. I watched the old one. I watched the old Star Trek. I. I I didn't watch all of the uh, Next Generation and Deep Space Nine and Voyager. Frankly, I haven't seen a lot of these aliens myself. So, you know, I'm coming across these people on set and I'm like, Jesus, look at you. So that's easy to do, you know. And uh, But there is, I think, ingrained in the show itself a sense of awe and, and uh, uh, you know, that we're really taking on the mantle of that we're, we're on, you know, a quest of discovery. and. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's really easy to play, or it's really important to play, or it's vital in the show. I think it, I think it energizes it in a way that uh, you know, no pun intended, um, that it energizes it in a way that um, keeps it buoyant. You know, there's no, we're not used to anything, we're not used to our own ship, so, you know, all we know is that we frankly don't know. You got guns, you got aliens. You got a really fast ship, and you don't know where you're going to go from from day to day. I mean, I some other shows have been a little maybe. You know, they were always trying to get home on Voyager. Well, we're not trying to get home. We're just out there seeing what we can find. You know, it's it's like a it's a constant mystery, and for those that everybody knows about Star Trek. I mean, I think everybody knows about it. And everybody knows about the first one. And if you tell somebody that this is a prequel to the first one, it's nothing like you're going to have seen in the last few series. It, that alone, I think, will, will get a lot of people just to go, well, what's going on? And then if we're doing our job, which I hope and think that we are, you know, come on, let's go for a ride. <laughs>